one of the things that came out from the discussion were the characteristics of a leader is somebody who is patient, somebody who is humble. Her humility was seen by everybody. Globally, she was very respected, but she continued with her, her crusade um, uh, against logging, uh, her crusade for people to protect forests, her crusade for people to plant trees. And um, when she died, what we saw was a lot of um, uh, recognition of her role, not only nationally, but also globally. We got um, messages of condolences from everybody. I mean, and uh, it was insightful for me as a leader that you may not know the things you're doing are making a big difference, but they actually are the steps you take in life. The uh, innovations you have, the interventions you put in place, have um, can turn out to be to make the difference that you that go beyond even what you had anticipated. I'm not so sure when she started working on uh, uh, green belt movement, she expected it to turn out the way it turned out. But she kept doing what she thought was useful. She kept on nurturing trees, and her persistence paid off. And uh, what really for me as a leader, there are some interventions I keep thinking, maybe I should do um, this, but I keep wondering the challenges are too many, um, I may not succeed. But when she died, there is a project that I'm beginning to work with and I'm saying, look, I will do it. If I don't succeed, I will not succeed. But because she has really motivated me that those small steps you take, can actually lead into um, the change that you anticipated and also beyond what you also thought was possible. So from her life, uh, I have learned a lot. Humility, patience, persistence, and uh, looking out for what is the common good rather than what, is you, what will serve you as a person.